you have won. Well, technically my name is on the awards, but really it's Center Hill High School that's won them. But a couple years ago we got uh, Teacher of the Year for the State of Mississippi for Farm Bureau. And then last year we got it for Family and Consumer Sciences for the Teacher of the Year. And then this year we just recently got Teacher of the Year for the State of Mississippi for Mississippi Soil and Water Conservation. How do you feel about receiving these awards? Well, again, I feel like it's for the school. It is not for me because I don't do any of this by myself. Mr. Payne and Ms. Case and Mr. Sims have all been very supportive, and the students do a lot of work. They work really hard, and they learn a lot while they're working, too. Well, how much input do students have with, like, your farm and the animals and stuff like that? Well, I only have the students for nine weeks except for FCCLA, and so they have to learn a lot about the farm first, and then they take on different responsibilities. But this year, I really want them to help me with some more grant writing because we've won 14 grants already in the past, I guess, four and a half years, because it's my fifth year here. And we've gotten lots of different um, donations from people, too. Like we just recently got our garden tower that's made from a donor. How did you become passionate about a farm growing? Well, I always loved doing it at home, and I love teaching my boys about it. And I thought, you know, if I like it so much, maybe the kids would like it too. So I really incorporated that a lot into the curriculum. And then the more grants we got, the more opportunities we had to expand. How did you come up with the idea of starting the farm here at Center Hill? When my first year here, I had to write a grant for a Foundation for Excellence, and so I chose to do a school garden. And Mr. Sims ended up building the boxes for us, and that was really nice, and the students really liked it, and we learned a lot, teachers were learning a lot, so I wrote another grant, and another grant, it just kept building, and so we incorporated animals, you know, we have a pig, we've raised ducks, we've done turkeys, um, chickens, of course, hens and roosters, what else have we done? We just read, we have our bunnies now, we just had a mama bunny that had babies, and uh, so we've done lots of fun things. I'm sure I'm forgetting an animal, too. Now in here, this is just, we got this from, Mr. Hatch funded it through DonorsChoose.org, and it has the plants that grow out at the top, and they use the nutrients that are produced by the fish from the bottom, so it, it works together. So we have goldfish in here, and then that was successful, so we started another aquaponics tank that has fish that you can eat. So we have brim in that tank. Uh, we have two. We had three, but one of them attack the other. <laughs> so now we just have one big one and one small one, but we've got herbs growing out the top. And so it's a very popular thing right now in big cities, yeah. especially places that have food deserts, and they're using these big old warehouses and they're flooding them, and then they're able to grow plants like, you know, vegetables and herbs out the top, and then they grow the fish in the bottom. Yeah, so it works together.